guys, I'm just adding this part to the video. Um, you guys might want to stick around to the end of the video because there is actually something that I find kind of amusing, alright? There's something that happened with one of these cars that is actually an error. Not with the cars itself, but I think you might find it amusing. So, I'm going to let the video play, of course, but you might want to stick around for the end. Hello guys, what's up? I'm the Total Doom here doing another video for you guys, and this time I am doing another mystery model opening, yay! But this is also a toy haul because I do have something else to show off, but the majority of my toy haul was mostly this, and then I have one more thing to show off. So I figured instead of doing two videos, a toy haul, and then a mystery model opening, I figured I might as well just combine the two. I mean, it makes sense, doesn't it? Um, the thing that's not one of these that I'm just going to show right now is a five pack of Hot Wheels uh, track stars. And to you, it might just seem like a simple pack of cars. Like, you know, it's. You can pretty much get it at pretty much every store. Um, some stores probably sell it for way too expensive, and some stores probably sell them for really cheap. But the interesting part about this five pack is this car is fine. This car is fine. This car is fine. This car is fine. This car is missing the windshields. And it's not like it's just been snapped off and it's in there just moving around. It's not even in the set. It's nowhere in the set. It doesn't have the windshields. So this is an error and I'm going to keep it sealed I might just buy another one just to open up because there's some pretty cool cars in here and uh, I, I like I like opening them up and playing with them that's why I always get like two treasure hunts one to keep uh, in sealed packaging and then one to open although sometimes I don't always get that so I just keep one sealed and then I never get the other one anyways that's not what's interesting what's interesting is the mystery models and that one fell over because that's the first one that we're going to open now I got three packs and yes I do know exactly what type of cars are inside here but you get kind of a reaction to them and uh, you don't know what's in here you can only find out by watching the video unless you probably skip to the end or something Anyways, the first mystery mall you might have noticed is opened. Yeah, um, the store had an open bag. I guess someone decided, hey, I, I'm very impatient, so I want to know what's inside. But uh, it had the 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 poster or whatever they want to call it, and then it had the sticker, and then it had the actual car, so none of the contents, nothing inside was actually taken out, so I figured instead of, like, someone stealing it or something like that because it's so easy to grab, I'm just going to take it and I'm going to buy it, so, you know, there's that. Anyways, the first car we've got is, and by the way, this is the second wave to actually hit my Walmarts, uh, there you go, there's the sticker, which pretty much just shows you exactly what type of car it is. It is the Hyper Truck. I've never had this mold previously, and I kind of wanted it. I don't know why, it's just something about it. I, I really like it. Maybe it's because it looks more so like a car, but actually it is a truck. So, it, it's very weird. Like, at first glance, you think, oh, that's just a car. Nope, it's a truck. So, kind of cool. And then there's the, uh, the poster. I'm not going to show the whole poster. Actually, I am because there is a reason. All right, let's open this up. And those are all the cars that could be chosen out of this pack. Any one of these could be in a pack. And they're all going to be different because they all have different numbers, just saying that. So that's going to be cool. I do have Rocket Box previously, so don't expect that in this, uh, in this opening. But other than that, there's that. All right. Let's just put the poster back in the bag, if we can, and the sticker, and that's our first model. Now for a second one, which uh, I'm just going to grab whatever at this point. Let's see what's inside here. And yes, I do know what's in these. Um, I know that's kind of cheating, but I kind of like uh, hunting through and just seeing like the numbers. It doesn't make it as easy to look through. Man, this is really hard to open. Ah, there we are. But uh, I, I also just don't want to get like a second one of these. I, I just want to get one of each. And uh, this one is, oh, that's cool. This one is 
The Fast 4 WD. Now, I think I've had this previously in, like, white or something like that. I can't really remember, but uh, very cool. I wanted this because I wanted to take a look at its color scheme, and it looks very nice. The black and gold and red just look very, very good, and I like the techno look to it. It actually reminds me of uh, another one of my cars, the, uh, the Supervolt. So, very cool. I'm pretty impressed by that. There is the sticker. And then there's the poster, which I will put everything away. I'll also not be telling the codes, even though you could probably tell if you didn't hear already. Um, but uh, very cool. I like this. I like it a lot. It's actually a very nice looking car. And it's actually got transparent blue windows, so that's pretty cool. And then last but not least is actually probably the number one car that I was excited for in this whole lot. And I'll explain exactly why but um when i saw that this car was in the wave i just I, I had to get it i really had to get it so let's go ahead and open this up i should probably mention i've had this mold before so it, it's not going to be like a a huge deal i guess or maybe it is because it's been 13 years uh it's been 13 years since i bought this mold and I still have the first one I have, so that's pretty cool. Let's open this up. And it is Mailstorm. There's the sticker. I'm just leaving it upside down like that. And uh, there's the poster. There's the sticker. Now, I've had one previously. This came with a, uh, a track set, a blue track set. And I love those uh, play sets, by the way. Um, but, uh, this was my first and only Mailstorm. I've never had another Mailstorm. This was one of my favorite Hot Wheels cars, and as you can see, it's pretty dirty, the white's kind of crap, but, uh, this was a very cool car when it came out, and I love this. So I decided, you know what, because the Waves got it, I'm gonna get another one, and there it is. And, oh, it looks beautiful. It looks nice and clean. Oh, God. Oh, wow. I love this. I love this thing. It's just fantastic. I mean, good God. I need to get more of these. It, it's just like, um, what's the one from Highway 35 that's, uh, oh, Slingshot. Like, Slingshot came out. I wanted to buy that. I bought that. And then I bought, like, ten other repaints or something like that. Um, actually, I think it's about, I think I have five different versions of that car. Maybe four. I don't know. I lost count. But um, this is very cool. I like this. I'm totally in love with this car. I'm so glad that it's still being produced to this day. Um, it's definitely an older model, but it's a model that really works. I love it. Like, this is very nostalgic for me. And, and it's in my favorite color, too, which is very nice. Um, so I like that. If you guys did not know, my favorite color is green. So, um, I, I'm just admiring this. I, I'm sorry, ladies and gentlemen. It's just, good God, I love this car. I'm very happy. I am impressed. You've impressed me, Mattel. So, quick rundown of what cars I currently have. It is the Mailstorm, the Hypertruck, and the Ford... FWD or something like that. It's something like that. And of course, beforehand, I got Rocket Box. So I thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, share, subscribe, and all those fun doodads. Hopefully, I will get the rest. There's about eight more cars that I need to get. And of course, once again, let's take a look at that with the air car. That's pretty cool. I will not be opening this. I will hopefully try and get another pack to open. Anyways, that's pretty much it. Thank you guys for watching. Once again, please like, comment, share, subscribe, and all those fun dudes. And I'll see you guys next time. I'm attaching this to the video. There's actually an error to one of the cars. Actually, it's not to the cars themselves, but there's something kind of funny with them. And again, it's nothing to do with the actual cars themselves. There's no flip tires or anything like that. No windshields that are flipped around. No, the cars are fine. It's something to do with come uh, with uh, what comes with the cars. Now, as you guys know, with the cars, you get the bag, and you get the stickers. The ones that I'm showing off is uh, Fast 4WD. 
this one is fine, by the way. This doesn't have the error. Um, I'm just using it as an example, but you get a sticker of the car. And then you get the poster that shows all of the cars of the wave. Now, if you flip it around, you also get half of the wave, and it's kind of like a checklist or something like that. Um, but on this side, you can see the entire wave, and that's pretty awesome. I do like this. But uh, when we go to the Mailstorm stuff, we go to the bag, and everything's fine. You know, there's nothing wrong with that. Then we go to the sticker. It shows the car. Nothing's wrong with it. It's totally fine. There's no problem with that. And when I looked at the poster, I noticed that's not the right car. That's not the right name. That's not the right number. And I was thinking, wait, what's going on? That, that's kind of weird. And it slowly began to process that this poster came from an earlier wave. This is not this wave of mystery models. I would call this wave one and this wave two um, because Walmart only stocked up on these, but there's a bunch of mystery models out there, so I'm not gonna call this wave one and wave two. Uh, maybe 2016 wave one and wave two, but some people are gonna argue that this is a late 2015 wave, so whatever. Basically, the point is, this is an earlier wave, this is the current wave as I'm filming this, so I just found that funny. I don't even know how they were able to repack an old poster into this. I, I just really found that amusing. I wonder if that, like, this is probably not the only pack, but it's a common error to, at least for this car, to have this poster. I just, I really found that funny. I really did. And again, if you guys want a comparison and you want to see the Wave 2, or not Wave 2, uh, this Wave poster compared to that, there you go. Completely different waves. Again, I just found that really amusing. Anyways, that's pretty much it. I thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time.